independent client, Hawks Bend Home Pro. Uh, this is uh, video series one of five. Uh, this is going to be the pantry area. Uh, today we are here, some of the electrical is done, some of the plumbing is done, uh, but mostly we're looking to get final measurements for the cabinets and layout dimensions for the uh, the windows and things uh, so that we can make sure everything is uh, going to line out correctly. Okay, so uh, this is going to be um, pantry wall one of three. Uh, if you take a look here on the left, you've got five windows equally spaced across. Uh, one of the things that we're looking at is the center window would be the center of the uh, sink in this far wall. Um, to the right of the window is the dishwasher. Uh, so looking at electrical layout or whatever, uh, they're asking me to denote where some of this is. But the center of the window is the sink. To the right is the dishwasher. Now to the left of this in the original drawing, there is a desk area with two pull-out desks. Um, no problem there, but I don't see any electrical for that space. We have one here. Uh, most of the time, if you've got a desk, uh, we need to talk to the customer about whether they're going to have um, a LAN in, inside the house or whether we're going to have uh, wireless or whatever. What we're what we're going to need here as far as, um, you know, for plugging stuff up, if it's going to have to be down here in the tow area of this desk, uh, then we need to talk to them about whether they need a quad set there for maybe a house router or uh, for the computer they're using. Just, just talk to them about what their needs are in this desk knee hole area here. Uh, I do not have that uh, specific to the design. Now, as you go across this full length wall, I've got my drawings here for you. Uh, this is page here, page one of three, pantry one of three. The um, drain is at 118. 126 is the uh, hot water. Cold water is 130 from the left-hand wall. 127 and three quarter adjusted for sheetrock thickness is the center of the center window. The actual length of the wall to the corner is 256. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much that on that wall. Let's look at this one here. Here it is. This is the uh, second page, too, of the pantry. Uh, this is the back wall. This is the wall left to right here to the right of that. 97 and a half inches is our overall for that wall. It's a little smaller than the, than the plan was. Um, the center lines of the boxes that are here now, the electrical boxes, they do not have power to them. Uh, but at this point, they're, they're already been nailed up. The boxes are at 17, 48, and 85 from the left-hand side. Now, mind you, in the drawing, uh, the original drawing, there's um, some bifold doors, I think, here and some other things going on. We need to know about lighting for this. We need to know whether there's going to have to be power up high. Uh, we also want to know about anything that we're going to put power inside of these because these boxes are going to have to be specific to the layout of the cabinets. And again, we're planning on coming back once we finalize the drawing and design, coming back one more time and actually giving them some actual measurements of where these go. But uh, just starting off, this is where we're at. Uh, again, that's page two of three in the pantry. This is page three of three in the pantry. This is the interior wall of the pantry. And there, right now, there's one, two, three boxes already laid out on the wall there. Now, in the original drawing for this, there was a three-inch thickness of hanging shelf that went across here. Talking to the designer, we're looking at maybe trying to do those with um, uh, the uh, hanging shelves for those, the freestanding shelves, floating shelves. Uh, and so we'll have to get back with them about, about building those. Uh, and then here at the bottom, these are all uh, just cabinetry. But this wall is actually 163 adjusted for sheetrock. In the design, we looked at about 168 inches on plan takeoff. So there's about five inches difference in this wall physically here than what you had on the plan length uh, just to say also this is a two by six thickness wall it showed six inches in the plan uh, so we're looking at this being about six and a half six and three quarter is our actual width of this when we're done uh, with this uh, sheetrock and everything that's going to be about that width i don't know whether the uh, house is going to have outside mitered corners or they're going to have 90 degree metal or whether they're going to have euro corners on the edges of the sheetrock that's going to be a big deal for this particular wall right here if we're going to have shelving that comes out like this and then actually is cut into the end of this wall and then also shelving that goes down the other side slightly then this definitely needs to be square edges here on the sheetrock uh, versus a euro edge now the other thing is and the blocking that's here now, this line of blocking is at 60 inches staggered all the way down. Um, one of the things about this floating shelf is going to have to be 
plenty of places to attach. Uh, so we're probably looking at doing a two before here as blocking and then doing a two before above as blocking. Each one of these needs to have a two before added above or below to keep a nice four and a half inch or so space across here. And again, that's dead center. This mark between that one and this one is 60 inches from the floor. So we have something solid in here to be able to hang the floating shelves from uh, as we run across that. Up in the roof here, vaulted ceilings. So here, I think that was 123, if I'm not mistaken, 123 to the bottom of that. Of course, this is a vault here in the center. Uh, so we're just looking at this for as far as the uh, layout of the cabinet top moldings and stuff. What we're going to have to do as far as cut-ins for any moldings. That is the pantry area uh, in a nutshell. I will do another video here in just a moment for the kitchen area.